Today, we're going to make our banana bread. And let me tell you, Nacho, that this recipe is the recipe to make banana bread. Every time we make it at our house, like it just like, yeah, I mean, flies. <laughs> for example, we are kids. I mean, they're kids of bakers, so not very easy to impress because we do so much stuff. But this banana bread is something that everybody craves and they just love it, either in the morning or for a light dinner or snack before going to bed. I mean, it's kind of healthy. It's good because it has bananas. And to so some banana. <laughs> yeah, they just have bananas. <laughs> but, I mean, it has bananas, right? <laughs> Um, it's, it's also very easy uh, when you uh, when you think that the bananas are getting over uh, and they're starting turning black. Yes. Don't throw them away. Make Eat a them. banana bread. It's super easy. Uh, it's mostly with stuff that you have at home. And remember, this is how we do it at home. And I'm sure that if you give it a try, you're going to have a very, very good banana bread at home. And you're going to need to use the palette, okay? And you're going to use a stand mixer. Make sure to cream those bananas. It's, it's something very, very important. You don't want it to leave it so uh, rough or they have to be very, very well smashed. And the browner the bananas, the sweeter they are. So it's so much better if they're like completely <laughs> going What I bad. also love about this recipe is that, for example, our kids like the banana bread with, um, with uh, chocolate chips, yeah. so you can add it. If you like pistachios, if you like pecans, if you like almonds, I mean, you can go nuts and put <laughs> any kind of nut with it. Okay, so it's very, very good. This is a, a to-go recipe, and every time that that here at the house, they smell Susana's banana bread, and you know you're gonna have them all coming down here to get a piece of it. So I added the sugar, and then I'm adding the eggs one by one. Super easy recipe. And then I like to make this recipe whenever we're gonna have like company, because the whole house smells like it just super smells welcoming. amazing. Yeah, and the next day you yeah. have banana bread. So if you want to impress that mother-in-law that <laughs> thinks that you are such a good cook, just do this and your house is going to smell amazing. Okay, so the thing about this banana bread too is that it has uh, oil. Most of the banana bread recipes have butter, which tends to make it a little like tougher. This one yeah, is Yeah, they are more tight. Moist. So yes. when you use oil, it's gonna be more fluffy. It's gonna be so fluffy and so good. So just make sure that when you do this, I mean, it really incorporates and you destroy, totally smash, smash those bananas, yes. okay? And then here I have uh, baking powder, ingredients. baking soda, I have uh, flour, and then I'm going to add very good kind of Saigon uh, cinnamon. We like the Saigon, it's super. Yeah, that little kick of cinnamon on a banana bread, even if you're not a lover of spices, or especially cinnamon, I mean, just try a little bit of it. it. It gives it a kick that is very, very good. And that is the smell that you want in your kitchen. Uh, believe me, the bananas and the mix with the cinnamon and the toasting it, um, the toastiness is just amazing. So I'm gonna put the pre-old pan over here while Susana finished that. And I'm gonna start with the crumble. So crumble is something that you put on top of your pan to, to make it like uh, that little crunch on top of it. And what I like about this, it's so easy to make. You just need cold butter, a little bit of flour, and uh, brown sugar. Um, on the crumble, remember, once again, you can add oats, you can add pecans, you can add um, almonds, almonds any, any, anything that you want to make it, uh, to encase your banana bread is super good. So you just put the cold butter into the, into the flour, okay? And then add the brown sugar and just- and We're gonna add a yeah. little bit of- uh, of cinnamon. More cinnamon, why not? Yeah. Like, don't go shy on the cinnamon. Okay, so then just go to town. Just put your fingers in there. And remember that you're gonna try to do a sand. So, so at the beginning, you're gonna start pressing up 
Remember, you cannot do these for so long because then you're gonna do a cookie dough and we don't want that. What we want is just like cover that butter that is still cold in the flour, in the cinnamon, and in the brown sugar. So don't be shy, just get in there and then it's gonna start to crumble and be all delicious, okay? I like doing it this way because it's like every time I do it, it's like then I have to make the crumble, but now it's going to be ready at the same time. So exactly. you can have like someone you help you. Yeah, <laughs> so you have a husband like me. <laughs> okay, so I think it's ready. You just wanted it, the crumble to be wet, not very, very soft. And then if you drop something out, as long as your surface is clean, you can just get it back in there. So. Let's get all this goodness back in there. And then Susana is fast, okay? No, but this recipe is such an easy recipe. I know. It's not like, like you have to be this and then add this and then, no, it's just like put okay. everything in there. Okay, so we have it here. See, you, you want to make it like sand, and then it's going to make you think that you're going to the beach, but no, no it's no a crumble, beach. no beach, <laughs> okay? And then you just go on top of it. Make sure that it's even. Don't be afraid to be a little bit messy. I'm gonna get it for that later. And did, did, you, <laughs> did you turn on the oven? Of course, remember, every time you bake something, the most important thing, the first step is preheat your oven. This one goes for 325, and this one is gonna bake for about 50 minutes, 50 55, minutes. you, you okay. check it and see if, it, if the center is done. Yeah, put the, put the magic the in there, put the crumble in there. So remember, every time that you bake something, don't be so set up about the time. Remember that golden, bake goods are the way that you want to go. So I have always struggled with, I, I will ask Susana like a thousand times, it is ready, it is ready. And then Susana used to say, it's ready when it's ready. I mean, so the times of the baking is just like a, like a reference in order for them to burn it. But then of course you gotta keep an eye on it. You gotta keep your expectations up and go for it. Don't be afraid to bake at home. So try it and then Susana is here yeah. with the amazing banana bread and bam, Look at this. there you go. It's delicious, it smells delicious. Mm, if you can smell that. Okay, so with baked goods as well, I know that you're dying to try the banana bread, but if you don't cool it down and try to unmold it when it's hot, it's gonna crumble on you. So be patient and patience in baking pays off because look at that look beauty. Look at this. It's so fluffy and it, I mean, the crumble is so beautiful and you can just smell the bananas, smell the cinnamon and smell the goodness. It's delicious and that crumble again gives it that texture that we always need, we want in yeah. a dessert. This is something that, this is kind of the smell that takes you back home. So when you think of home, this is what I think of. It's just a smell that, that brings back so much memories. And I'm sure that if you try it, um, you're gonna love it. We don't have too much to go with, but I'm just gonna take a bite out of it. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, next recipe. Hope you like this one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>